Hi, my name is Janelle Kinsey. I'm a feminist and an artist, and today I'd like to share with you my live cast full of pottery. So I first started creating feminist vulva art uh, by including it in a much more sculptural sense. So I would hand build these vulva forms and attach them onto my functional wear, making a connection between objectification objects and women. And from there, I really started to think about ways to include live casts. I wanted to remove any sort of bias or abstraction of the form. And the best way to do that was to include actual vulvas from actual women. And so I did that using a skin safe material called Algonet that I was then able to transfer into plaster. You can see here I have collected so far 13 live casts from various women and non-binary folk of different backgrounds. And from there I'm able to translate it into molds that I can use on my pottery. For me, ceramics was a way for me to talk about my views as a feminist and an artist in a language that I understood being clay and form. And so creating these objects that were very intimate and things that were intended for daily use, like a bowl, a mug, a sponge holder, what have you, was a way to kind of bring these um, themes into mind and into the forefront of our daily thinking. I wanted to be a little surprising and add a bit of shock value. I found that through my discussion and sharing this out with the world that some people were a little uncomfortable with the idea of seeing live cast genitalia on pottery intended for use. And that's kind of my point. I wanted to talk about the way that we view women, our bodies, and tying in themes of things like housework and dishes. Something like a mug is something seen as very utilitarian. Maybe it's a part of your peaceful moments in your morning, but maybe it's also something that collects mildew in your sink. And so by placing a vulva on there, I'm wanting to tie in these themes and doing that through objects. And so when users are either using these objects or viewing them, I'm wanting them to think about how the patriarchy has maybe affected them and their views of their own bodies or the women around them. This work was inherently very collaborative and I think that was something that was really exciting for me. I started making work that was tied to feminist values because I found it to be very healing for me after leaving a sexually abusive relationship. And so starting to include other women in that conversation and in my art making uh, allowed for some collective healing, I think. And, you know, just even going through the process of laying down with another woman or non-binary person and casting their vulva and talking to them about their experience as someone who has a vulva and has experienced the world with that um, has been enlightening. My goal with this work is to start a conversation. And so whether that be a conversation about why seeing vulvas on pottery makes you uncomfortable, what you think about these objects and thinking about them in your own homes, I mostly just want people to talk and I want them to talk about feminist issues and ways that we can grow together. And one of the ways I found it easy to induce that type of conversation was by including something that is typically hidden, stigmatized, and over-sexualized. And for me, that definitely was the vulva. This is something that we see abstracted all the time through porn and media. And so celebrating it in a way of just appreciating its form, just like we would appreciate the form of a bowl or a piece of pottery, was a way to celebrate it, honor it, and also talk about it.